Jerry uh, at uh, game one loss already somehow. There we go. All right, we got Isaiah Mosier v. Jerry Tondini. You want to let them know they're good to go? Yeah, where's the, where's the thing with Jiggy? Go ahead. All right. Got some Yogg versus some Living End. Pretty standard modern meta matchup for the uh, this fucking... This environment we've got. Jerry's still the staying true to his living in roots. Even post violent outburst ban. Working on some sorcery speed stuff. He was talking about some wacky card earlier that he let some instant speed living end. Or is he on is he on some kind of electro dominance thing? He was talking about that too. Um, or is it just like no, plastic sorcery speed? There's a four mana again? spell that bounces a thing and then allows you. He said it was from Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. allows you to play a thing for free. Man, I, I don't know if it's instant speed or not, but I assume that's what you're talking. I'd about. have to imagine it would be because otherwise, well, it's kind of bad. You just play the other thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we'll find out. I see uh, Waker waves in there. See a goblet shrine. See commandeer still. I think this is probably probably what he played um, a couple weeks ago. Just a bunch of mostly blue living end stuff. Yeah, the thing that I found interesting about this um, back in the day playing living in against it, like. Um, it always felt a little awkward because they get that initial damage on you, the Yawgmoth deck, and then right. they can still combo out after you living in. So it, it can be a little tricky. And you also can't forget that most of their shit's coming back. Right. So it's a little awkward. But uh, I did find it to be favorable. All right. So he's got the three mana source free speed cascader. You see a Waker Waves here, I'm sure. Bowmaster in response to the... Or just, oh, he just passed. All right, yeah, he's got some good additional damage here. Doing some, some beats. Beats with the Bowmaster. Bow beats. Yeah, I like the Pendle Haven here. Get an extra point of damage in. Swing down to ten. Yield wall of roots. Kind of feel like Isaiah playing all this stuff out when he knows yeah, that he's just gonna get living in. That's it next weird. Turn. That's a little, that's a little I, strange. I don't. I don't know. I was just about to comment on that. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I, I guess he just has to like his thought is I just have to hope he doesn't have it and I'm putting lethal on board or, or trying to put as close to lethal as I can on board. Yeah, but that doesn't trigger for the water roots. I don't know. I feel like he should have held that held off on that. I don't. I don't understand. It's a little strange. Do you not understand? Maybe, maybe he just feels that if he living ends in game one, I can't win anyway. I mean, that's so, fair. So I I might as well just advance my board. All right. Well, here it is. Yeah, didn't take very long either. So he's going to be left with a young wolf. That is a 2-2, and Jerry's getting not, like, anything it's crazy. Two it's two things. They're very big things. And Isaiah's things are now smaller. So, don't know what the thought is here. All right. Hey, he's got a... A negative one, z <laughs> a negative <laughs> yeah. one in the front, one <laughs> plant? <laughs> uh... Uh, all right, all right. 
And there's a soul cauldron. And Jerry's gonna oh, he says the deer my that. soul cauldron. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty pretty scoopable at that point. I'd say. Probably, Is it? Probably, yeah, yeah, I think so. He's not. Well, he's not dead on board or anything. He's yeah. not dead. He's got. I don't know what he's gonna. What's gonna get him out of this? I mean, it's like this is two turns. He's got two turns, because the the ogre is not getting blocked. So six is getting through. Seven's getting through, because it's you know super menace. Yeah. I see it's still a twenty. I, I, yeah, I think he's okay. I'm just not sure what's gonna get him out. I feel like if he had a, a hope of getting out of a living end on turn three, he probably shouldn't have played out all the extra stuff. But well, we'll see. Right, he is gonna get in for one. <laughs> oh. There is that card. Yep. That card has been known to win some games. Jerry's gonna dig for a little bit of action here and just find more cyclers. No, oh, he's keeping the land. Okay. Pitch, throw another counter on this big dude, and so I was gonna get in for eight. Alright. So Zay's gotta redraw there in the nurturing whatever the hell that thing's called. Beat land? Mm -hmm. Nurturing something. Well, they didn't have it up this turn. All right. I think uh, Jerry drew into another Cascader. Securing Isaiah not getting anything back. So he can get in for that. And then Cascade again. Get rid of Isaiah's board. And have a good healthy board coming back on his end. So yeah, I think this is... I don't know if he, I mean, he really feels the need to. I guess he I don't could. think he, I, I wouldn't. I mean, he just has I mean, the option. Yeah, you just, your board's so bad if you do that. <clears throat> it's not the worst. He gets a Street Wraith and a Waker, so. Oh, yeah, I didn't see the Waker hiding there. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's not the worst. You do kind of want to get the Shieldred off. I mean, he's, I'd say he's so pretty, well. No, yeah, he gained three life on his turn without other shit. Jerry went ahead and pulled the trigger. That commandeer was it did look good there. Cause that I was, didn't think it looked very good. I I don't think that that was like. I mean, he was already uh, ahead. It's just it secured like it took. As I had nothing. At that I don't point. think he's gotten three three cards worth of value out of. No, it's just uh, in this in, in this instance, it's just making sure Isaiah is not getting anything back. So Isaiah is pretty much fucked. I mean, there's nothing he could draw here that's going to do anything. No, it's too late now. I I, yeah. I thought the whole time that the the winning card would have been Grist right off yeah. the right off the bat. Yeah. So you could just start getting rid of these things and fill in your own graveyard. All right. Well, that was that. What we pretty well assumed would happen. Um, so let's see what sideboard look like. This is, this is just round two. Yeah. It is. So he's got some Teferis of his own. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Are you going to bring that shit? This number makes... Nope. Bring a lot of shit in. What is Isaiah bringing in? <clears throat> Isaiah, I think, uh, is he eyeballing cutting the grists? He is cutting the grists. Gotta make room for uh, these other cards. That, which looks mostly like Endurance. Some other green cards. That, that wasn't Pick Your Poison, right? That doesn't do anything. No. No, I don't think he's worried about bringing that in. I don't think he uh, even... I think there is a Pick Your Poison. No, they're, they're in his sideboard, but I don't think he's not moving to the front or anything. Okay. 
you know, then you move to the front, which is endurance. That's the, the one copy of... Uh, <laughs> that's all he's got. <laughs> that's all he's got. One copy of endurance is what enters the fray here. <laughs> well, that's... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's your sideboard plan. <laughs> well, he's probably thought people would be off of it. But not Jerry. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I don't know how many endurances he has in his main. Right, right. Also, yeah. So. Yeah, 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 he could have some in his main. All right, well, let's see what happens here. I think Jerry brought in his own endurances in. So it's going to be endurances banging off against each other. All right, so I feel like uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not super keen on Isaiah's chances here. I do feel like he had no reason to hyper commit to that board game one. I don't really think he needed to do that. Good living end is still absolutely cascading on turn three, regardless. Yeah, I mean, I mean, more often than not. They're just doing it on their turn. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, even with the old build, I mean, there there were times where you would lose games because you just never drew a cascade spell. So that that does yeah, happen. Yeah. yeah. But it's yeah, you pretty... have to you have to expect playing against it that it's gonna happen. Yeah, no, you should expect that, and it's pretty not very often. Every time that it ever happened to me where I I I like died because I never drew a cascade spell, my opponent like had the look of fear in their eyes your entire game. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you ought to. And then they won. Because it's it's pretty like it's fairly low percentile that you don't living end on turn three. Street Wraith, Street Wraith, Street Wraith, Endurance. Is they just slapping his hand around? I see a grist in there. Fetching for a basic forest, playing the Hierarch. Good turn one mana dork here. I love the Hierarchs. Yeah, the Hierarchs are like the mana dork in my opinion. <clears throat> You'll never catch me playing a bird. Not right. when you can play like Hierarchs. Too. Those are the three I like. I hate bird. It doesn't do anything. Taps for any color. <clears throat> yeah. And then you draw Fix, it later. fixes all five colors. It does, but then you draw it later, and it doesn't. You draw do lands later too. I mean, you just you just got. Well, I know, but lands are lands. Mm. You count it as a land, and then you don't feel that. Yeah, but you can't exactly do that. Grist on turn two seems good. Looking for I don't I, I guess solitude or or yeah the solitude I guess is what he was subtlety saying. or subtlety yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the only reason you would cycle there. Did he have another blue card? I don't know if that was a possibility. Oh, oh, okay. This is the thing that Gris can do in this matchup is uh, make it to where he has to pitch an endurance to yeah. get, a, get a favorable board here, you know? Is that a ley line there? I think it is. For Jerry on the yeah, right. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or to land. I don't know. <laughs> That's how it works these days. Yeah, silly line. Looks pretty pretty not good. Yeah, now we got a soul cauldron. That's a good prize, yeah. Yeah, my day's looking good here. 
Oh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> He's looking real good here. <laughs> does Jerry have the... Does he have the play? I don't think he does, does He's he? He's got a Cascader, but... Oh, he does? It's going to cost him... I, I, I didn't see it. I thought, yeah, he had a. No, he's not hitting lands. That's what it is. He's. I think he has. He's got an ardent plea in hand. Oh, okay. I see it now. Oh, okay. He's digging. Yeah, he's digging for another blue card to settle to the blood artist, which is fair enough. Because that yeah, is that, a. That, that, that. It's pretty dangerous for him. It is. Also, don't know that I love that play. Well, he definitely it, was scared it, enough. It was a little desperate. He had a way to go get third land the whole time, so. Just wanted to shut off that artist. Really that makes sense. If if you had a way to do it the whole time, that, that play totally makes sense. Because then you get rid of this whole board, except for, obviously, the uh, yeah. the Grist. All right, so he's got the Cascade here. Isaiah's going to be able to take away one of his better cards, probably the uh, Riverwinder. Here's a Cascade. Yeah, eat something here. I'm going to assume the Hexproof, dude. Or the Troll. Nope, oh, Hexproof. Cycle like these dudes. He gets a Yogg. So, Isaiah does now have Grist. Can he draw a Young Wolf as free Sack Fodder? That would be good. Get rid of that Troll. Okay. Uh, plus the Grist. Play the second Grist. Sack the token. Kill a dude. It's not so, a... No. So, I mean, that's like... sexy of sexiest I mean, of plays. He's I got mean. a Yawgmoth in hand, so he has no sexy plays right now. <laughs> he has pretty much nothing. Really. At the end of the day. He's got... Sack the Yog, play a Yog, or... Do this thing. This is at least giving him some stuff in grave. Neg counter on the troll to draw an extra card, give him some more access to some different stuff. Looks like he just drew land, so not much different access here. I think he might still need to pull the trigger on the second Grist. Or is he going to try to go the proliferate route? Not sure. Hmm. Yep, oh, he's passing turn, so he must be going for the proliferate route. He's only got... I mean, he's not dead on board, right? This is no, no. So, not if... so I think maybe he's just thinking. Oh God! I don't always say I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> okay, bowmaster here. You don't seem to need any assistance, so I think we can. Nah, yeah, he's fine. He just just make noise. <laughs> yeah. Just pandering, pandering to his fans. <laughs> All right, so we got some chumps here, chumpy jumps, in which you're going to turn into draws. Actually, this is not bad. This is all right for Isaiah because he's going to get the chump chump. Well, he can't. No, he's got no, he's got no swamp, right? No. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, chump block, chump block, sack sack, proliferate. Gonna draw some cards in the exchange. 
And then, so this is, yeah, this panned out really well for Isaiah here. Yeah, this is a I total, mean, it's still, he's still staring down. Proliferate. He's still yeah. staring down a big board, but this makes a big difference. I don't, I don't know what that wacky hand gesture was. <laughs> Pandering to his fans. <laughs> All right, so there's the proliferate. Subtlety down. Now he's only it's taking three. Up to a nice level there. Yeah. All right. Well, that positioned him pretty well. He's still looking at a, a threatening enough board, but. So Duren's looking not good in Jerry's deck right now with only one green source in play. Alright, any further developments here? No. Nothing has happened. Alright, we're going to uh, game three. This old cauldron with a grist is enough for a scoop there. Yeah, Which this, is pretty this, deck, this deck has <laughs> a lot of play to it, man. Uh, you saw there. Make the right blocks. Make the right sacrifices. Put some counters on there. Discard a card. Yeah, the proliferate is is very is very good. That one copy of Endurance didn't do shit. <laughs> yeah. It you survived that. not drawing that one copy. Maybe you get lucky this time and you hit your graveyard eight. Yeah. Yeah, being on the play was that was a good opener for him. did see Jerry there at the end with Endurance and Hand that he had brought in. No second green source, no second green card. Yeah, so. well, that's the thing. He's been talking about how much he committed to blue in this deck. Like, makes Endurance kind of awkward. Yeah. You've committed super hard to Commandeer. Like, now Endurance is kind of out of the question because you have no kinda, green cycles. I don't, walk I, don't, I don't love the Commandeer. Like, I, I used to play the card in Taking Turns, and, and this is... Taking turns is a deck where literally every other card in your deck that's not a land is blue. Right. And that card was hard sometimes. Yeah. You know. Like, Two cards uh, is a lot, man. It is a lot. It's very much a lot. Especially when you bring in a shit ton of ley lines. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it's a lot. And, like... You actually need three. You need it plus two other blue cards, you know? So, like, right now, he's got three blue cards in his hand. Or is one of those an island? <laughs> like, well, one is the, the mythic spell land. One's a spell Okay, land. yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah. Even right now, in a hand of seven, he does not have three blue cards. And I don't think you could ever expect that to be the norm. So, like, you end up in this spot where you got to, like, hold it and wait for a third card. I don't know. It's it's a little iffy to me. And by a little iffy, I well, think it's just bad. This game, he's got he's got plenty of blue cards in this game, but it would like decimate his hand. And, and also, it it's it's to be fair, he probably did board it out too. Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's like not doing ob much here. Obnoxiously bad. Yeah. Just saying, and granted, like like you know, cards like Leyline wouldn't be in his deck. But I'm just saying, in general, I think it's bad. Yeah. Well, those days you have the Besage you that's ready to go to fucking fuck this Leyline up. So. Gonna get rid of that pendle haven there. There's a surveil land. 
Jerry's rocking on. Like the, the awkward thing here is there's he's got no cyclers. He's just got subtleties. I, I don't subtlety know that this water roots it's, just. It is gonna have a hard garden. time beating the sleigh line. He's got Sage on hand, so he's. Oh, he does. Okay, yeah. well, he's good to yeah. go then. He's, he's got the. He's got the thing. Jerry is putting no pressure on by having no things in his graveyard. Isaiah's going to have a big turn here with the Wall of Roots. And you might just play the Wall of Roots and just, you know, he's not playing nothing. He's keeping everything up. That young wolf down. Fetch. That's exiled, sir. Yeah, all this extra tech is just awkward to see living in not doing any cycling because he's sitting on a bunch of subtleties <laughs> and a white ley line that he drew into. Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, like, what do you, what is he's, he's going to have the ability to like living in next turn, but it, it's not even good. He grist, and this is where he's going to get subtleteed. I mean, this is what you, kept you can't afford. You can't subtlety this, right? Like that's not good. No, if he doesn't, then that's fantastic for Isaiah. I, I can't. I can't imagine where Isaiah's that gonna, would be the right play. He's going to hold on to this Besaju. Probably pop it off at the end of Jerry's turn. Jerry still has basically zero action. He's got a cascader that does nothing. He's gonna hard. He's gonna jam a subtlety. Is what he's gonna do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the the plan. Yeah, I say you there, and he has zero interaction for that. And give him a land. So yep, he's on the jam subtlety plan, which is it's fine. It's not bad. But it turns it into fair magic now, and I think in this situation, the Yog death. Yog deck is going to come out and top if that's the we'll kind of game we'll we're see. playing. We'll see. There's a lot left to go. This this uh, the history is not written on this one yet. Yeah, I, I, I yeah I wouldn't disagree with that. It, it is a little awkward that J Jerry's plan mm -hmm. is literally play a couple three threes for four with flash flying like like that's that's a little rough as a plan. That's 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 what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. I'm, I got nobody out, but I think the the bar is. I think the, the needle is pointing at Isaiah here. To have a, a bit more of the advantage, especially with this grist rocking. And let's uh, see what we can. Oh, here the young wolf. The doggo. We're going to fucking hold on to subtlety. Here, here's the thought, John. If, uh, if Jerry draws a land. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was going to say, if he, if he flashes out the subtlety. Or the, the solitude, or what, what the fuck is this card called? Subtlety. Subtlety. He flashes it out in, in step and then draws a land. He can play double of the uh, thing that gives it 1-1 uh, one, one if it attacks alone or whatever. So he's choosing not to, yeah. like... He, he, he could have killed Grist here, was my point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if he really wanted to. Yeah. It would have been three cards that didn't well, do anything. He's got an Endurance in hand now with the mana to cast He it. does have double green this so time, just, so that's good. He's just casting dudes. Uh, yeah, this court of calling, you're not interacting with this court at all. Yeah, that, that, that is the thing about having a bunch of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you have uh, a card that requires multiple cards to counter creatures and planeswalkers, and then you have a card that requires multiple cards that counters non-creatures. Yeah. And that's just a lot, you know? Like, that's like filling your, your deck with essence scatters and negates, you know? Yeah. Well, and right now, um, it has to line up perfectly. now Isaiah, I think he's like, if this, if I was Jerry, I'd be like, well, I know my opponent's going to get to do mostly whatever he wants. Well, he does have endurance, so he yeah, will, he, he will does be able have to that, stop but Isaiah is still going to draw a bajillion oh, fucking will. cards if he wants to. And that's, to me, that's always been the most powerful thing about Yogg is if it happens and you stop the stuff, they're mm. still drawing a fucking yeah, new hand. Yep. And that's a big fucking deal, you know. Yeah, they don't they don't rely on their graveyard like Living End does. No, they, they, no, yeah. they're still getting a whole new grip of cards. So, Grist 
aggressive move by Isaiah here, just throwing he's them a, all in. He's getting the job done. Uh, he knows there's... Yeah, there's not much. With with Yogg active, there's not much Jerry's going to have to say about anything. So we're going to just keep doing this. Making more bugs. Why doesn't, why doesn't it play Solitude? The, oh, the white version? Who knows? I, I mean, Nobody on the internet. I, mean, I, I, I guess because you're going all out for blue now. That's I guess. The, yeah, yeah. The real answer is no one on the internet has done it yet. Yeah. So. That's fair. <laughs> when Aspiring Spike or somebody else does it, then, then we'll see that happen. Only then. I mean, he's been sitting on these subtleties for a long time now, and I'm just wondering when he's going to. Go ahead and commit. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to play this endurance for marginal value. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that young wolf's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we got a, the first cycler we've seen, and it's an architect's a will. Ooh. Whoop whoop. Oh, he's gonna do it now. And Isaiah is going to sack his board and draw a million cards in response to your living end. So this doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that's what would happen. Confirmed. Uh, he does not have the ability to endurance also. Does he have another he's got a, card? He's got a, yeah, not a, not pitch wise. No, I don't know what these last couple cards in the back are. They are not green. It's a ley line and an ardent plea, I think. Okay. And another chord. And Jerry says, fuck it. Jerry says, <laughs> fuck you, I'm out. So that's a good example of like ley lines not doing that much. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> know why you brought them in. I think it's his standard. He does it every time, I think. It's his standard package. Like he brings in Void, he brings in... Again. In this matchup, it makes no sense though. I don't know. Like, like if if you're if you're trying to fight the graveyard in a Yawgmoth matchup and you're playing Living In, you've already lost. Like you ha you have to win the graveyard matchup. Yeah. If you get to the point where their graveyard matters, you you're like fucking dead. Yeah. You know. Yeah, like, for sure. It, yeah, it's. I I do like the endurance, but I don't know that it's playable in his deck. We saw twice there where he had endurance and it yeah, just was not a castable yeah, card. He's not able to pitch. I mean, he was. Well, he could hard cast. He yeah, could hard cast yeah, he, at that well, time we, the entire yeah, time. Yeah, he could. Uh, game two, though, we saw an endurance in his hand. Yeah. He could. He yeah, did yeah, not have two green yeah. sources. And he so. had no green cards. Yeah, it's, it's a he little brings, He brings in green cards, but yeah, with it being so skewed to blue, it doesn't make that much sense. I don't like having a standard uh, I don't, uh, sideboard plan. If you're saying he has a standard sideboard, I don't like that for living in. I think that you need to know what your opponent's going to do to you. Well, the, I, th the I think sanctity, if you're playing Yogmoth, you need to know Yogmoth's plan. The sanctity only matters for Blood Artist. I think Artist. he does. The sanctity only matters for Blood Artist, so I don't see why he would bring that in here. Yeah, that is a little weird. Because, like, yeah, it does stop Blood Artist, but they could just beat you down. Because that's so uh, many times Yogg just wins with just beating you down. That's yeah. that's like high percentile for well, Yogg. What, what is this card on the far right here? It's laid on the sanctity. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so he brought in all those ley lines. That's why his hand was trash. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense to me. That's, that's <laughs> I, I would never bring in. And since everyone can line. play Besaju, like <laughs> it doesn't. It's not a. It doesn't just solve the problem. He he over sideboarded and it showed. Well, I do agree that taking out griefs is bad. Uh, I do notice he takes out all of his whales every time. Yeah, he I, just, I, I don't love he's, that. He's committed on that just being the standard go-to as well. Yeah, that's not right. Which I also think that seems silly. Well, first off, if you're taking out four griefs, right away you've alleviated the need to have a card, uh, to, to have some of your black cards. Specifically, right. like Architects of Will, I think goes down a lot when it when you pull out griefs. Oh, yeah. Because the whole point of that card is it's just a, it's the worst card to get back because it's just a 3-3. Three, three. Uh, so it's the smallest dude. And so like, the whole point of him is he's both green and black, so he pitches to both grief and you know force force negation or yeah, yeah. Uh, or uh, or uh, subtlety yeah yeah Any subtlety or all yeah. that shit yeah 
And so I think that actually in this matchup, you you take out the four griefs, who so you should be cutting some number of that, yeah. the, the architects of will. Yeah. And so I probably would have done a two and two split. Right. Um, but to each their own. Yeah. Jerry's allowed to be wrong. Well, there he is. We've got a and two he is. one Isaiah Mosier. <laughs> uh, we're going to have you next round in just a minute. Stay All tight. right. We'll be right back. Thank you.